AI will probably succeed when it's when it's not the main thing staring at you in the face. Um, you know, it's not about just putting robots everywhere. That's not what AI is about. AI is about making everyday tasks a wee bit easier than they are, right? Um, think about Google Now. Think about predictive search and Google when you start typing something, it autofills, right? You're really simple. And I think there are very small steps. Think about um, camera-based recognition, right? Um, uh, or whether it's in the medical space and you can detect different kinds of lesions or rashes just by showing a picture or seeing through a camera, like the system automatically recognizing. I think that there are so many different varied applications of AI um, and we should, and one of the things I do is constantly talk about why we need to stop framing AI in the context of robots or these things that just show up and in your face. Um, I think AI will succeed when it just becomes like the internet, nobody talks about like the internet anymore, right? Um, except maybe Donald Trump, but it, it, nobody talks about it as the people live on it all the time. And I think AI is kind of like that. You'll be living with AI, you already are. Like most of us already are, but, and I think it's a question of uh, how quickly can it, can more people get access to technology? More people will have access to AI. It'll be as simple as that. And uh, you might even have AI working in a medical center, like looking up stuff on your, and you might not even know it. Um, and so it's important that AI makes headway into like everyday uses um, so that it's not this big, bad, ugly thing that, that's very threatening and away from us. I don't think this is about in investors or a particular group of people. I actually think that women are completely underrepresented in technology. Um, fundamentally under underrepresented, whether it's at events, whether it's at, um, you know, different kinds of gatherings, whether it's different kinds of conversations, uh, debates, whether it's in the investment community, whether it's in the founding community, whether it's in the, like the people that get employed in startups, I think we're broadly underrepresented to begin with and I think it's, it is because of unconscious bias. Um, uh, because I keep saying this, like if me for my AI startup can find 50% women, I'm sure everybody can, right? And I think it's a question of, it's not about, a lot of people ask me, oh, is it about creating a reservation? No, and I say, no, it's about removing unconscious bias. They're two different things. And it's not about creating a special place. It's about the minute you move unconscious bias, you'll start seeing that actually they're all around. Um, and then it's also a pipeline issue where you need more and more women actually represented in different parts of the pipeline so that you can get more of them. It's about household and domestic stuff where you need the domestic state of India to change in order to encourage more women to get into this. And then it's also about the investment committee and it's a investment uh, community. It's about the startup community as a whole where if you have a majority of people that are non-women and if you have a majority of people that have lived a certain way and know your peer as a certain kind of male person, then you're going to continue to indulge. It's a snowball effect. Um, and it's been proven in tech that it's a snowball effect even with women. The more women you have, the more women you have. There's, there's a class, the more diverse you have um, a, a community, that has a snowball effect as well. So yes, we are highly underrepresented. Yes, it's a daily struggle. Um, and yes, things are getting better. Here for introducing my product. So TechSpark is organizing such a nice platform. And it's a good place for networking, connecting with the Bangalore ecosystem.